Good morning, we're taking the doggies for a walk. And baby's outside, look at the baby. He's a cutie. He's such a cutie. Little baby boo. Ah. <laughs> I don't scare you. Yeah. When I said boo. <gasps> Why is she booing me? Good morning. Actually, I should say good afternoon because it is Tuesday and it is afternoon. I have waited to start doing horse stuff until now because it is so hot today. It's only 90 degrees, but the real feel is 103, which if you include the humidity, thanks to, you know, our dear friend Colin, it's nuts. It's so hot out here. There's no seams on me. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and get some horses dealt with today, but I kind of feel bad to make anybody work, but I guess that's the life of a Florida horse. Anyway, welcome. Hello, I love you. I'm glad you're here. Well, this is not good. These guys are going all the way up the wall. Look at the ants. You are not allowed. What do you want? Hey guys, so I did a really bad job and I did not take the camera to the barn with me today when I was working horses and stuff. So, we don't actually have like any footage, but we're gonna go play with the horses now. So, we get some horsey footage. <laughs> Look at the tiny little hoof prints. Tiny little hoof prints from him, from Mr. Boo. Mirage, you're so pretty and sweet. Such a good mare. You guys are fast. You're a fast pony. And the sun is going down, but it is so humid. How does Manda do all this work out here? It's so hot and humid. Ah, ah. And all I did was run around and scratch baby butts. I just played a little. I didn't even have to work. Fun fact, 
I got my back in the saddle catalog today and I was looking at the front of it and it didn't take me but like two seconds to realize this, but I was there when this picture was taken. So I used to work at a Gypsy Vanner breeder called Stillwater Farms and this is Pearly Girl, one of their horses, and this is my friend Daisy's bunny, Mr. Bun. And I was there when they did this photo shoot. We put them together and we were hoping that they would touch noses and we were all, they kind of just kept sniffing each other and hopping around and all this stuff. And we kept thinking it would be so cool if they would touch noses. And when they did, when they took this picture, we all cheered and I remember cheering for this picture. But how crazy that it's on the back in the saddle catalog now. I was there for this. It says Mr. Biggs on this, but his name is Mr. Bun. Aww. But, you know, Pearly Girl. Go look up Stillwater Farm and you'll see there's Pearly Girl. Matthew, Matthew. What? Whoa, that's a potato and a knife. Aye. Potato knife. That was terrifying. <laughs> so if you were on Gilligan's Island, what character would you be? I would be the professor. Cause I could build anything out of coconuts. I, being foreign and also maybe a little less cultured than I should be. I've never seen a single episode of Gilligan's Island. Not one. So I have no idea. You tell me, who would I be? <laughs> Matthew says the millionaire's wife. I think that sounds wonderful. But uh, I have no idea. Woo! Second question. Are you ready? If yes. you were a superhero, what superpowers would you have? I've actually seen this question twice today because Matt Pfeiffer posted it too. Mm-hmm. And I responded to it. And your response was? I think I would have either. My initial one was power to read minds. That's a simple one. Mm -hmm. Or the power to talk to or communicate with electronics or computers. Ah, like, like the kid. kid. Like the kid in Heroes. I, I would have the ability to communicate with animals. Because that would make riding a lot easier also everything. It'd be really nice to just be like, hey horse, this is exactly what I need you to do. Awesome, okay, we're good. And then the horse would be like, hey, can you uh, get off my back? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, and then that would be my friends and I could talk to Gracie. Can have conversations with Gracie. It would be amazing. And Toot, except I'm pretty sure all that Toot ever says is Toot, 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 Toot. So it wouldn't be a very interesting conversation. It's pretty possible. Andre would be interesting though. The other superpower I would want is like like Wolverine, like not, not, the, not the claws, the regeneration, being able to heal yourself. That would be pretty epic. Like the cheerleader too. Anyway, what do you guys think? If you had a superpower, what would it be? Thank you, Chris, for the awesome questions, because those are fun. What character are you on Gilligan's Island? Matthew made steak and veggies and risotto because he's the best. And I took Zach's technique and put the cheese on top of it. Gordonzola. As a side note from that last thing, where we were talking about those questions that Chris had asked us, we love getting questions and things from you guys. So if you ever have any questions or, you know, if you want to talk to us, talk to us in the comments. We reply to every comment that we can. And we love talking to you guys. We're eating dinner. Well, we just caught up on Girl Meets World and now we are headed to bed. It's like 11 o'clock and I was hoping to get up early, so we'll see if that still happens. But anyway, I gotta beat the heat now that it's summer. We hope you guys have had a good day. We've certainly had a good day and we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and liking this video and everything. Mwah! See you tomorrow.